experts in this matter say it is known as classified spillage. And in most cases, there are simple mistakes that are not typically charged as crimes. <laughs> and most of the time, it's completely accidental. An employee accidentally takes home a classified document in a briefcase. Uh-oh, spaghetti -os. <laughs> Don't think for a second that they're not doing this all on purpose. When you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. As we found, uh, we found a handful of documents were failed, uh, were filed in the wrong place. I think you're going to find... There's nothing there. I have no regrets. I'm following what the lawyers have told me they want me to do. Let's just get this straight. Hillary Clinton, who was never president, had classified documents on her private server. And then our media mocks the scandal as, but her emails, as she's given a pass by the FBI. Then we find out Trump also had classified documents, which he was working with the government to secure and return. But for some reason, the FBI raided his home and the same media erupted in celebration that the walls were closing in and Trump was going to prison. The walls are closing in. The wall's closing in. The wall's closing in. Another bombshell. 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 Then we find out that Joe Biden also had classified documents that he kept in his garage where his crackhead son also stayed. But of course, the media promptly tells us that it's totally different when he does it. And no big deal because people take classified documents like every day, dude. Experts in this matter say it is known as classified spillage. And in most cases, there are simple mistakes that are not typically charged as crimes. Is it an accepted thing? How common is this? What is your reporting found? Yeah, Caitlin, this kind of uh, this kind of classified spillage happens almost literally every day. Almost literally every day. You got that? And most of the time, it's completely accidental. An employee accidentally takes home a classified document in a briefcase. <laughs> What's even more embolism inducing is that last night CNN had a segment where they mocked Republicans for having double standards on classified documents. Republicans are now pouncing on Biden for these classified documents. Some went out of their way to downplay former President Trump's potential mishandling of classified documents. Here's a reminder. What I've seen that the National Archives was concerned about Trump having in his possession didn't amount to a hill of bean. I don't know what documents were at mar -a -Largo. Is it fair to say that investigation won't be a priority? That will not be a priority. This is very concerning. I mean, this is now the second location that uh, the president was in possession of classified documents. Look, what's the vice president doing with classified documents? It's weird that they would so confidently take that position when there is ample evidence that CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC, NBC, and the rest also clearly have double standards when it comes to reporting on classified documents. Beautiful day here in Southern California and made only more beautiful by the hammer of justice pounding down on our pumpkin spice ex-president. The fact that he had those documents in his possession is uh, offense enough, uh, subject to perhaps uh, criminal prosecution. What laws does the FBI suspect the former president has broken? No man is above the law. Anybody else? would have been in jail for doing that. It's just that simple. Yeah. No one is above the law, not even a president or a former president of the United States. Flat out obstruction of justice. They basically are informing the Trump folks, you've already committed a crime. Totally irresponsible. We're gonna start with President Biden's lawyers finding a small number of classified documents during his time as vice president in his former private office. Joe Biden left a handful of classified documents from when he was vice president in his private office. If you listen to Republicans or conservative media, they want you to believe it's on par with Donald Trump carting off boxes of classified documents. Now, Republicans have seized on the revelations, but to be clear, there are distinctions between what we know about this and Donald Trump's hoarding of secret records at Mar-a-Lago. Obviously, vast differences there. There are key differences. There's a big difference here. There are many differences. One of these things is not like the other. Are we right to draw a very, very broad distinction between what is happening in the Biden case and what happened in the Trump case? Sorry.
All right, folks, that's all I can take for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share this video, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.